Today we're going to talk about Lucifer, the devil, and Satan, and how knowing the difference between the three is very important. The term Lightbringer is a proper noun in English, and it is actually capitalized. In Greco-Roman civilization, it was often personified and considered a god, and some versions considered the son of Aura, who is a goddess, a Roman goddess of dawn, and this would be an aspect of night that they called Noctifer, the Nightbringer. Aurora in the Greek pantheon was referred to as Eos. Lucifer is connected to Venus. Venus is known as the sun of the morning because before the sun comes up, it's the brightest star or light in the sky. Back in the ancient times, Venus was actually known as planet Lucifer. Now in a nutshell, what is Lucifer? Lucifer is actually an entity of light that bears feminine energy, but it may not be a woman. We know that Lucifer is beyond the light spectrum, so Lucifer would, would be considered a ultraviolet being. Lucifer's job was to push knowledge and potential to man. Lucifer is beyond the eighth dimension. It should also be noted that Lucifer and Michael are actually twins. Michael is the highest form of protection, one of the best warriors. Lucifer is the highest form of light, one of the best knowledge seekers and the knowledge bringers. Lucifer is actually a part of the Galactic Council. Lucifer is who you consider to be the strategizer on the Galactic Council. I find it quite ironic. I just did a, a video on Valiant Thor. Valiant Thor is a being who landed in the capital and told the U.S. president at the time, Eisenhower, that he was from the planet Venus. And he came down here with a message towards humanity. It should also be noted that Lucifer was not connected to Satan or the devil until the King James Version of the Bible. The entity's name was subsequently absorbed into Christianity as the name for the devil. Now, what is Satan? Satan is a fourth dimensional energy. Satan is extraterrestrial. Satan is actually a title that you achieve. And the people who are considered Satanists, they know this. I've said this before. Satanists do not worship any specific entity. A Satanist job is to become an entity that people worship. It's common knowledge that a while ago, a long time ago, that the term Satan actually meant adversary. An adversary against the Most High. A Satanist uses his ego or its ego to fight against the spirit. And that's how these Satanists decided to break away from the Galactic Council. Satanists use a lot of rituals, a lot of dark magic to conjure up energy. This is how they absorb people's energy from around them and energy from other living beings that are around them as well. This group of extraterrestrials often influence and infiltrate high-ranking society members in order to fulfill their agendas. Now we'll talk about what the devil is. The devil is actually an illusion on the third dimension because it's a mindset. So anyone can be a devil by inheriting negative thoughts. So the devil essentially is your ego. Your ego wants you to stay the same. Your ego is stubborn. Your ego is complacent. Your ego is lazy. Your ego is what you consider the Antichrist. Your ego stops you from reaching Christ consciousness. It also stops you from learning the necessary things you need to learn in life. The devil or your ego wants you to remain as human as possible. It does not want you to step into your spiritual divinity. Anything that stops you from reaching spiritual enlightenment will be considered the devil. Your ego is what you consider the Antichrist.